when we eat the bread and drink the cup of wine, we believe that Christ in us is our hope of glory. Peace and blessings. This is Father Paulo for IEC 2016. Like the Apostle Paul determined to finish his race for Christ, are the almost 15,000 pilgrims who gathered at the IEC Pavilion for the final session of the 51st International Eucharistic Congress. Psalms of Canticles and Praise fill the IEC Pavilion as Archbishop Angel Lagdameo of Iloilo led the morning prayers. The former president of the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines stressed the importance of communion and cooperation. Archbishop Lagdameo directed the pilgrims to praise of God who acts like a master weaver of a whole tapestry and unites the Eucharistic community in its diversity of gifts, talents, experiences, and cultures. The Archbishop ended his sharing on a quote from statesman Winston Churchill. He said, We make a living by whatever we get. But we make others live by what we give. In his profound catechesis on the Eucharist and Mary, the charismatic Cardinal Timothy Dolan of New York exhorted the pilgrims to deepen their devotion to the Blessed Mother as our greatest intercessor to Jesus Christ. Cardinal Dolan reflected on how Mary animates the three gifts or mysteries of the Eucharist, namely sacrifice, meal, and presence. Cardinal Dolan said, The Mass, my brothers and sisters, is our family meal, especially on Sunday. And the mother of our family, Mary, is always at the table with Jesus and us. Receiving a standing ovation from the assembly, Sarin Dorn Mativaklanon shared her touching story of forgiveness and redemption as a former fugitive, now a devoted church servant. Accused of the crime of embezzlement of funds, Sarin Dorn fought for her innocence for almost two decades. She said, Life is not perfect, but life is beautiful. That the virtue of forgiveness benefits the forgiver, not the forgiven. Forgiving is not a sign of weakness. On the contrary, it is the sign of strength. It frees the one who forgives from the chain that ties the person to the pole near the fire of hatred. Archbishop Jose Palma then presented and read the summary statement of the proceedings of the 51st International Eucharistic Congress. The declaration is composed of three parts, Eucharist as bread of hope, of dialogue, and of mission. Death track sessions were organized during the day. The sessions were facilitated by Father Cyril Axelrod on eye people including deaf persons with disabilities. Father Matthew Hussell and Stephanie Offier on deaf Catholics, leaders and teachers, and Fathers Charlie Dittmeyer and Mincio Park on Deaf Church in Asia. Cardinal Ricardo Vidal of Cebu presided over the Mass at the Cebu City Sports Center. 5,000 children received First Communion in the presence of almost 40,000 participants who graced the Eucharistic celebration. Congress delegates and pilgrims were treated with a Sinulog presentation. Papal Legate Cardinal Mongbo will preside over the closing Mass at the South Road Properties Open Grounds. Pope Francis is expected to deliver the Statio Orbis, his message via live satellite feed from Rome. Pope Francis will announce to the venue for the next IEC in 2020. You may follow us on our social media accounts. This has been Father Paulo Sper of the Society of St. Paul for IEC 2016. Bread and wine we see gave strength to our hearts and made us shine with glee when we eat the bread and drink the cup of wine. We believe that Christ in us 
is our hope of glory.